Buying a home is a big financial investment for most of us. Did you know there are things you can do each month to help make sure that your home is run smoothly? Hi everybody, Kelly Harden here with Mahara and Associates and today I'm going to share with you some of the things that I do around my home that help maintain the property. These are things that I do once a month. I tend to do them on the first of the month because that's when I pay the mortgage and it reminds me each month to do them. Once you get in the habit, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to do each and every month. Come on, let me show you some of the things that I take care of. I also clean the front loading washing machine. I do that by taking one cup of vinegar and placing it in the detergent section and a half to one cup of baking soda and placing it inside the drum. And then you turn the washing machine on with the hottest water possible. That helps keep it from getting that mildew stink because it can smell. I didn't know that it could do that when I first bought this and I didn't clean it in the beginning and I noticed it started to smell so I had to research it how to do that. I also learned that you should not close the door all the way. You should leave the door open about an inch so that the air can get in there and circulate and help keep it from getting mildew. It works, trust me. Also, I use the vinegar to clean the drain lines on the air handle. Once a year, I have the unit maintained by the air conditioning company, but both he and two of the gentlemen that I use for home inspections have suggested that we pour vinegar down here to keep the lines from getting all gunky and covered in gross stuff so that the air conditioner will work properly. So I just put my funnel in, pour the cup of vinegar down there, when I'm done, put the lid back on, and we're good to go till next month. Another extremely important thing to do is to change your air filters once a month. My air filter goes up here, so I've got to drag the big ladder out, but it's important to take care of this. I order these in bulk on Amazon. It tells you on there which way the air flows. You make sure that when you put it in, you put it in so the air flows through it, you're good to go. I use the inexpensive ones instead of those thicker ones. The thicker ones cause your air conditioner to work harder and actually shorten the life of your air conditioner. Both the air conditioner guys and the home inspectors told me this. So I use the inexpensive ones and I toss them once a month. It just works easier. I have a box in the garage, so it's ready to go. I just go and get one and put it in. When I've used them all up, just, well, I don't order them online or by the phone, I order them online <laughs> and we're good to go. Are there things you do besides these in your home? If so, I'd love to hear what those are. Go ahead and put a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and if I can answer any questions for you in the future, please reach out to me. My email is kelly at kellyharden.realtor, and my phone number is 813-244-9688. Hope to hear from you soon.